Hi! We are. This is a very late check in, Katie Diet. How come we're late? It's all been a bit manic here. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to do Facebook Live on the last week of running up to Christmas? And we've not even had a dinner or anything. You are desperate for a pee, aren't you? Desperate. How long will it take? Five seconds. Right, I'll take over. Take over. I'll just film <laughs> and, and talk about the lovely painting that's on the wall while my camera lady goes for the pee. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been it's been going like a train in here. Grandma. There I am. It's been, it's been going like a train in here. You can still see the sound's got lovely clients in because tonight, yes tonight, um, we are doing the part two of the Curly Club. And the Curly Club is a group of ladies that have been quite inspirational here. They've, they've made me realize that actually, curly hair is a bit of a taboo subject in this area and it really shouldn't be because it's a beautiful texture. It's natural, it's real, every, every, every curl on the head has got its own individual curve and its own individual way. Now, um, I was very lucky because I was trained by uh, an amazing guy called Vidal Sassoon. Now in that company, we were trained completely across the board with all textures, ranging from Japanese all the way to Afro, okay? And all the textures in between. The reason I'm telling you this mumbo jumbo is because it's important that people understand when they're coming to trust someone that does curly hair, they've got a background. It's not just about them being able to control it. It's about them having the knowledge and the, the inspiration behind it to make sure and manage the shape properly and reasonably. Um, and I say that because one of the big things that I hear about often is clients say, that they don't know how to maintain their hair. They've tried everything and nothing works. I put mousse on my hair and 14 other products on my hair. Well, the thing is, less is more. And with Curly Club Part 2, once my camera lady comes back from the bathroom, um, I think she might be doing something else in there. Um, with Curly Club Part 2, I've got five heads. One, two, three, four, five heads waiting of all different genres, all different ages, um, and all different textures. And I want to talk you through them hand by hand. Now, these are people that have actually been clients and they've explained that, believe it or not, I can't work out why or how people don't know how to do curly hair. Thanks, Katie. So what I'm going to do tonight is talk you through the concepts and how we've done it, how we've achieved it. And if you want to walk this way, it's a little bit calmer now. But we've still got a Christmas vibe. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. Have we got a song? We have got a song. Have we made, have we made uh, up a song? The lyrics are currently hung up in the staff room. Oh, no, well, we can't be. Everybody's got to sing it to, on, on Saturday. Oh, I've got a pri surprise happening. Oh, yeah, I've got a surprise anymore, kid. Okay, come over. It's been a long day. Mm. Oh, look. What are they? Oh, look. Oh, look. Look at curls. Oh, look. What are they? Oh look, what are, never mind her. <laughs> so we've got five amazing ladies here that have um, quite, ha quite kindly offered their time today. So, sorry, I've been on the go since 8.30 at my head. Ben, did we do interviews this morning, Katie? We did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to do an all-nighter? Um, so these ladies, all of them in the glory, all have one thing in common. What's that? They've all got curly hair. And yet every single one of them are individual for their curls. And I think it's, a, it's a, such a nice story. And actually, every one of them has had their own little bit of input. They've, they've said to me, um, my hairdresser never tells me how to look after my hair properly. Or I, 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 I use a brush or I, I want to use a comb. And they've just not been directed properly. Well, this is the chance to come and give Nelson a big cuddle, puddle, waddle. <laughs> On the, with the curly texture because I am such a fan. Why am I a fan, Katie Diet? Because you get it. No. It inspires you. No. The word is on the window. Because it's individual. Now, if you remember going back to my first Facebook post of, it, of it earlier in the year when I came back from the shows in London and Paris, who remembers that out there? Anybody? Probably not. <laughs> what did I speak to you about? 
Individuals. Individual. And what was the big trend? Well, you're so fired. <laughs> you don't get it. Oh my goodness, I feel back to that. Let's corner. ask. Let's ask the new generation. What was the big trend? <laughs> Natural. Texture. Curls, exactly. Louise is definitely hired. So <laughs> the, 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 one of the things that I noticed in the shows was that girls were, model, professional models were actually being casted for the way their hair was. Now, not all, not in all of the shows, but it was, it was um, the, the models became people, not an army um, of the same look. So individuality comes across and you cannot get any more bespoke than curly hair because it comes from the root of each individual's skull and nine out of ten times it's all very random and free. So. Would you like a sandwich? I need water. <laughs> water please. Got a glass of Prosecco at three o'clock. <laughs> I've mentioned that. Anyway. <laughs> so this is an amazing head of curly hair. Now who would have thought this was natural? Who? No one. It's not as tonged. <laughs> it's not as tonged. It's not tonged, is it? No. Tell me what your hair is naturally. Mm -hmm. So this is how you your hair um, is naturally. Mm -hmm. And you were a client of Nelson Brown's, weren't you? Yes. Check out the size of them hoops, baby. Look at the size of them. I'm jumping on them through them later. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. Oh. Now, if that is a Christmas song right there, I don't know what else is. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hole. Anyway, getting back to this family show, uh -huh. what I wanted to do is just explain to you what I've used on this on this lady's hair. Right. <coughs> What's the products that we used? You're fired. You said I was hired. Oh my God. <laughs> Get me some oil, please. So we used two products, three actually. First of all, we went in with a foundation spray and that is a spray-on conditioner, perfect for hair that is lacking hydration, which all of these five ladies have a problem with. Louise, Katie, watch it. Foundation spray, please. Um, so we went through the hair with foundation, just a light spray. Then we mixed a hybrid because we're all individual. I used um, a small dollop or a finger full <laughs> of Curl Enhancer, followed by about eight sprays of this bad boy, my new In Love product, Smooth and Shine Oil. I think oil. it's more of a pump than a spray. So it is a pump. It is a pump. You know your pumps. <laughs> I'm saying nothing about that. Now the reason these two are my new saviors is because if you use more oil than cream, what you get is a lighter oil, more hydrating oil, and actually you get a much better curl from it, in my personal experience. The curl becomes much more expressionable. And look at this head, look. Now the first time I did this lady's hair, you can remember, it was probably a little bit more weighed down. Mm -hmm. But now, today, tonight, Thursday night, on the 21st of December, I don't know where it is or where I am, <laughs> it's so light, and you wouldn't think that was a natural curl. You'd think that was pre-prepared and pre-tonged. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely lovely. It is. Yeah. And how did we do it, Louise? Mm -hmm. How did we do it, Louise? This is your moment. Step forward. Come on, until like, I'm my like, ear. Um, yeah. How did, how did we prepare the hair? How did we do it? We went through. Yeah, we did. So, Louise, can I ask you a question? You're an assistant here at Browns, at Nelson Browns, aren't you? <laughs> now, have, do we do we do models with curly hair when we're training? Yeah. Yeah. Why do we do models with curly hair? Why? Why don't? Why do we just not keep to people with straight hair? Because that's the normal hair, isn't it? No. No, because what is hair? It's natural. Eh. Eh. Natural. Yes. <laughs> so from the get go, which is really important to the viewers. The, the assistants, all of them, including all the stylists in the salon, are trained how to do all hair types from Japanese to Afro. Now, come, come over here. Come hither to your feather, as they say in Scotland. Um, this is Kezia. Uh, guess what she is at night time, Kezia? She's a dancer. Oh, go on, give us a spin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly killed you. Um, can, can you, can you do a high kick or something? <laughs> I'm, I'm alright. Okay, I've got one for you. I've got one for you. 
Fame! I'm gonna... <laughs> I love a jazz hat. Oh. oh, what is it? Is it that? You've got to do a little bit of Oh! I'm holding that for the 23rd. Good. Okay, so, who did Kezia's hair? Step forward. Taxi! Come over here. So, you can see that again, a completely different texture of hair. <coughs> Wonderful, long, gorgeous, real hair. And it's really soft. Can you, can you put your hands in it and tell me whether or not it's crunchy, soft, or even? How uh, would you describe it yourself? I would say it was soft myself. You would? Yes. Okay, good. It's definitely not... Um, it's not crunchy? Greasy or anything. Good. And, the, and what did we use on this ha head of hair? Annalee Jackson from Amar, <laughs> which is an island. Plantation <laughs> spray. Uh-huh. And then we mix it between green and blue. Curl Can't hear you. Can't hear you. You mix the, what? The thickening cream and the curl enhancer. Right, the thickening cream is the red tube from Wendell and Moody for volume, and the curl enhancer is the green tube. So one is packed with moisture, and one has got a little bit of holes and support. And the reason you mix those two together, Of root lift. Good, very well done. And look how you've achieved that. What did you do with the diffuser? Stick it in your ear. <laughs> Tip your head upside down. Tip your head upside down. So 1980s. I love it. We've got a question. I mean, you know, if you. Oh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, tell me what you. No, I want to. I want to. Is that 90s? Yeah, sorry. I want to zig 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 zig. Now, can we, we have a question. What's the question? So the question is, how do you control a kinky fringe from Joanna? Um, well, it's a good question that. If, if, you've got a, if you've got a natural root lift in your fringe and it's not been cut correctly, it, is, it can be a real problem. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. A real life problem. A real life problem, <laughs> yep. The problem may be started in the beginning because the question should have, been, should have been asked, should you have a fringe, should you not have a fringe? <laughs> Are you agreeing, Kezia? I love the fact that you're agreeing. The question really is, maybe in the beginning, in the manufacturing of the fringe, should have been, maybe should have been a discussion. However, there are some clever little techniques. Joanna? Joanna. Joanna, that you can, um, we, we as professionals know about to add weight to the hair. So, for example, if we do reverse graduation on hair, then it adds weight that comes over the top. So that can sometimes knock out the bend. But um, another little tip would be just with two fingers, not that way, that way, just pull the kink with your fingers in the dryer. Pull it down and it'll just knock the kink out. There you go. Joanna says yes, yeah, she needs a fringe. She needs a fringe, okay, come and see me. Right, can we move <laughs> down here please? We can, my shoes come off, right. Jack. <laughs> now, this is Jack, this is actually Kezia's mum and she's, she, 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 she Glamorous and beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> now, we were talking earlier, weren't we, me and you? Mm -hmm. Weren't we? Yes. With our mouths? Yes. Yeah, we both mm -hmm. said a few things to each other, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. And what, what were those few things? Can you remember? No? No. Let me just see anyway. <laughs> um, we were talking about how um, I ask, as I always do in the consultation, what, what the client does, so that I get a bit of an idea of how they approach their hair. And um, rightly so, Jack uses an oil to try and calm down the texture. And she's absolutely spot on. Um, she doesn't overcomb her hair, which is perfect too, because Cuddle likes to form its own natural, its own natural lump. So cut combs are, are kind of bad. It should only really be done if you're in the shower um, and you're shampooed and conditioned. So tonight, what we've done is we rinse the hair with water at the backwash and we, we put ultra condition ultra nourishing conditioner. Can you be quiet please? <laughs> Honestly, talking about boyfriends over there, those three slappers. <laughs> um, so we, we just we, we just we we wet the hair down, we use ultra nourishing conditioner to hydrate the hair immediately. Then it wasn't all rinsed out. It wasn't all rinsed out, Keith, because who did it? <laughs> it's not the only thing she's been doing today. Um, now, if you don't mind me saying so, Jack's got a very sensitive area down here in the nape, and she brought it to my attention quite quickly. It's a different texture, which is very common. Oh. Because as I said at the beginning, hair that's natural is individual. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't mean to say you've got uniformity all the way on the head. So each different pockets of your texture will be different. It's normal. 
So if you go, oh, this is tricky or that's tricky, that's totally normal. What should be happening is the levels of moisture should be attached to those areas to fit. So in Jack's case, we use more oil and moisture. We used, oh, we used these two bad boys. Again, my two favorites, but we actually mix the equal amounts because we want the Curl Enhancer's cream to hold down the, look, you can see how thick that is. It's really thick. Does it smell nice? Mm, lovely. Smells of chicken. <laughs> um, no, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm mixing it together and it gives you like a sort of creamy emollient. Then I wrap it through and really concentrate it on our, on our tricky areas or the sensitive areas. Then I went through very loosely with the, my fingers just twisting occasionally. And then we use the diffuser again. The diffusers have been going at the clappers today. And I think our hair is beautiful, glamorous and sophisticated and are real. It's real. Got a question? We've got a question. What is it? And I'm shiny, too. Here's a question, Nelson. Isn't it, Kezia? Yeah, it's what best. is it? I want shiny. Very shiny. Okay, so the question is from Jenny. Jenny who? <clears throat> Jenny College. Oh, no. She's a big fan of yours. Keep it clean. <laughs> how, come, it, JC? how come you had a purple ponytail at school? Um, that was a very long time ago. <laughs> and I was also... Oh, <laughs> I was also very overweight at the time and I was called, with my name being Nelson, the school assembly song was Nelly the Elephant, which didn't really go down well. Plus my mum used to dress me in burgundy, head to foot, including shoes. And I know mum you're watching and it's your own fault. <laughs> yeah. And, and the anyway, purple hair complimented guess what, that JC, so Look what's happened now. From the swan, no, from the... Ugly duckling. The duckling has become a bigger duck. Anyway, <laughs> come down here, please. Oh! Hi! Um, did you get a receipt for your haircut? Because they've left a few bits. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but... Willie's Barber Shop should be giving you a refund. <laughs> no, um, so Fiona, this is Fiona here. Um, she had a bit of a new look and I wanted to show you it because I am all about it. It's Westwood inspired. And if you think I'm talking about the wrapper, then you're nuts. <laughs> I'm talking about the designer. Um, now, Vivian, I assisted on Vivian's show in Paris and the woman is beyond creative. Um, and she's all about shape and form and, 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 and individuality. That word again, where's it coming from? So with Fiona's hair, I wanted to break the rules. What I wanted to do was, beautiful colour as well, by the way, I wanted to twist the haircut on its head. So underneath, we've got a really cool little technical shape that, runnings, that runs all the way back and into, the, into the, the crown. Then it's fitted, technically, all the way round and quite clean on the edges. Come round, please. On the, all the way round. And then I've just left two little tails. Uno, dos. Can we see? Mm -hmm, My third little favourite piece is this piece here, look. <gasps> like, if I could go out with a piece of hair, it would be that piece. <laughs> Too much? Okay. <laughs> then, what I've done is, I've just done a very random zigzag section of disconnection around the perimeter. Very random and very much all about feeling and, 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 and a sense of... Um, a sense of allowing the hair to be expressive. And in this little pocket here, I've created shortness. And I just think it is so cool. It's the coolest it's been to, to, today, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely the coolest, the coolest haircut today, mm -hmm. by far. My favourite. <laughs> and you know what? We're not all trying to have the same, because that's not cool. We're all... What are we all, Katie Diet? Come up here. Individual. What are we, girls? Individual. 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 Last, but by no means least. Demi, front and centre, please. Now, so, I met you a long time ago, didn't I? Yeah, you did. In jail. Uh, no. Was it in jail? No. No, I know, no, it wasn't in jail. Uh, <laughs> um, and, you know, can I just say one thing? I think, I think, I think... You're going to say more than one thing. And please, um, please, if, any, if anybody else believes in this, then please tell me. Sometimes when you've lost your confidence with your hair and you don't know where to turn, you get a little bit sort of like 
held down and you don't really know how to get out of maybe the situation that you're in and you need some really, really good hardcore professional support. And I think... Somebody that, with confidence. Yeah, and I, and I honestly think that as soon as I, re I met you again, that's what I instantly felt from you because being a hairdresser isn't just about being able to cut a straight line or hold a hairdryer. You have to connect with a human being yeah. in the seat and actually listen and understand the complexities that you're dealing with. Yeah. And actually, um, what we've done is we've done something slightly more rock chicky here. It's all natural. It's all been dried with the diffuser, hasn't it, Demi? Yes. Yeah. Demi Brown? No relation. See that face? <laughs> it's got a beautiful it's de face. Definitely not a relation because I'm much better looking than that. <laughs> Just face the front, eh? <laughs> so Demi Brown, no relation. How, what did you do here? Um, I just... What products did you use? Shame, uh, shame and smoothing oil on it. Excellent. What else? Um, some curl enhancer. Uh-huh. And diffused it all and then finished it with some light shine. Spray. Light shine spray? Yeah. What's that? A water-based product. Oh, fabulous! <laughs> and, you know, again, Demi is part of the... the um, the future of, of Nelson Brown because she's also being trained. Do we do curly hair? Yeah. We do? Yeah. yeah. When do we do curly hair? In training. In training, yes. Yeah. So have you, only, have you only ever done straight hair then before in your life? No, I've done all textures. All textures? Because how, what is that? What makes us, what are we? We're all India? Thank you. Love <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, these are five examples of empowering texture. That's quite a nice line. Can we just get a little shot up there, please? <laughs> Holy manoli, can we see? Beautiful curly here. Curly girls. Curly girls. No, 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 no. This is the curly club. Curly club. Curly club. Oh, curly club. Yeah, now, like we, what else do we need to talk about, Katie? Because we need to wrap this up. It's too long. We do. <clears throat> what else? We have a winner tonight. What is the winner? The winner is. What's the winner? The winner of... Of the competition mm -hmm. is... Where am I going? Further? To the post-it note. To the post-it note. We're all about high tech here, you know. Okay, so the winner of the competition, which is a competition of... Can you keep the camera still? Of all competitions. It's a thousand... It's a, to win our pro products and facials and products worth a thousand pounds. How much was it, how much were they worth? A thousand pounds. <laughs> I know. How many O's in a thousand? Three. <laughs> I know my numbers. Okay. Are you three drunk? <laughs> so the winner of the 2017 is it this one, Katie? Let me just check at the bottom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's my mum. Um, okay, so the winner of the competition to win, I think it's 12 Gino facials in the amazing Gino room and um, Gino products worth a grand, which is no, it's, it basically is going to take you over a 12 month period and the journey is going to be obviously recorded because we want to show everybody what the um what the, the treatments actually do stage by stage because i don't think people really fully understand so mm -hmm. this is about documenting it on a real human being and the winner Look. is jane gilston <laughs> jane gilston you are the winner of the best prize i've ever given away <laughs> actually is that true katie it's not quite it's true. not quite true because we're going bigger Bigger. What's bigger than a thousand? Oh my goodness. What's bigger than a thousand, girls? A thousand and one. A thousand and one, kids. You are very smart, Kiki. You know what I mean? Oofed. Did you go to the same school as Katie? I didn't actually know. Whoa. No, so the, the next competition is, um, again, the first time I've done something like this. So I am going to give away for a lucky winner a year's supply of haircuts with... Jeffrey? Jeffrey. No, he no, he used to work here. Doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> Not Jeffrey. Um, Nell? Nell? Is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's on stuff. Yeah. Nell. Look, can he's you see possessed. Can you see? <laughs> he's he's, he's been working that hard. His head's on backwards. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Sorry. 
No, so the next prize is a year's supply of haircuts by myself for the, for the winner. Um, and so obviously the, the terms and conditions which will be released in 20 minutes on this same page are quite specific. So you need to follow them to the letter, okay? Um, if you miss something out, you'll be disqualified, unfortunately. This is a huge prize. And I'm not even going to put a value to me. Can I? <laughs> no, you Is not. it such a thing, darling? <laughs> no, not a million years. Priceless. Priceless. Pri Thank you. Um, so, uh, are you? Yeah, yeah. so uh, a year's worth of haircuts for the winner of the next competition. Okay. Um, and it's all about being enthusiastic about the prize and showing me how much you want those haircuts. Okay. How much you need those haircuts. How much you need. She's very good, isn't she? <laughs> She's worth four pounds fifty now. Isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> and that's only after four. Okay, so thank you all the ladies. Thank you very much for your thank time. You so much. Uh, Merry Christmas. Are we doing you Can we have all the girls together around you, perhaps? Oh, come on then, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Can I, can I be laid out? Sorry! I don't know what it's hard. Together, together. Yeah, no, come on, you get in the front, please, beautiful. Five seconds. Yeah. We love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.